I want to bring in one of the stars of the Fox News channel. His name is James Rosen. He is the Fox News chief Washington correspondent, and he is the author of this book. It is a great book. Gone into s multiple printings, Eight. by the way. Torch, Ooh. what is it? Eight, Eight? printings, yes. Eight? That's pretty good, son. Yeah. The torch kept it lit. Is that the name of it? <laughs> Indeed. They took it off the screen before I could read it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Put it back. Yeah, put it back. Right. No, it's all about William yeah, F. Buckley, right. the guiding light of conservatism for the 50s, 60s, into the 70s and early 80s, as I recall. What would William F. Buckley have said about Donald Trump? Well, we can't know for sure, sure and true. it would be a dangerous business to try. Uh, he wrote critically once of Donald Trump, but then again, Bill Buckley wrote critically several times of Hillary Clinton. Buckley had a motto, which was always to support the most rightward viable candidate. And <laughs> certainly in the general election of this season, I think he would not have seen fit to withhold that description from Donald Trump. Really? Okay. In the primary, perhaps not. Okay. Mm -hmm. What you've done is to bring to light Buckley's views on a lot of world historical characters, yes. especially American presidents. I've read all the way through them. And it's unique because nobody has replaced William F. Buckley. There's no, no replacement. No one could. This man. No one's going to replace the Beatles either. Uh, <laughs> these, these people arose for their time and broke the mold. Uh, a torch kept lit uh, collects 50 of the eulogies that Bill Buckley delivered or wrote uh, over the course of his career for the great, the towering, and sometimes the evil figures of our lives. And I didn't mean to say evil as I looked at Ashley. Yes, now. thank you. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're presidents of the United States. And in 30 of the 50 cases, Buckley knew these people personally. His eulogy for Ronald Reagan is very moving. Yeah. Uh, but pop culture figures, John Lennon, Elvis Presley, uh, Johnny Carson, on whose Tonight Show set Buckley was a guest 12 times in 20 years. Uh, I like to say that a torch kept lit is the only place where you will find Milton Friedman, who needs no identification for this audience, <laughs> right up alongside Jerry Garcia of the Grateful Dead. Yes. Do you think that William F. Buckley could have succeeded in television and with his intellect and his particular view of politics today? And his speaking style, which yes. took a while. But yes, because and he wasn't, he wasn't <coughs> short, sharp, to the point, punching up the headline. No. That's not William F. Buckley. No. He sat with his legs crossed, leaning back. Uh, I'll do it for you. He, yeah, go on. Uh, he, he tended to uh, slouch. Yes. <laughs> like this. Uh, and he would usually have a pen in hand. Uh, and his uh, eyes were always afire. That's right. And he would dart his tongue out in a strange way. <laughs> and he would say things like, I would sooner be governed uh, by the first 400 names of the Boston Telephone Directory uh, than by the faculty of Harvard University. <laughs> He had a slight English accent, actually. He did. He did. Ever so slight. English was his third language. He was educated abroad. <laughs> yes. That's why. He spoke fluent so French, I think. Spanish, Spanish and French. Spanish, wow. French, and English, yes. Okay, look, it's a great book, James, but Thank I can't you let much. you get away without one more question. Please. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Yes. We're coming off a very contentious election. Thanksgiving lunch or dinner tomorrow is going to be a family affair. Mm. Are you going to discuss politics around your dinner table? Are you, you going to have a family fight or what? Uh, I've alighted on a nifty escape from this in the form of working tomorrow. I'm going to be covering oh. the White House for Fox News. But the party will be there when I get home. And uh, the other avenue of escape that I would recommend to all of our viewers, if this is going to be a problem this year, is pure gluttony. Just if, you're, if your mouth is literally stuffed, you can't talk politics. And that's the answer. You got out of it very nicely. Joe. Okay. Really that's what did. I do. It's a gift. Congratulations on the book. In all seriousness, Thank Eight you, Printings Stuart. is terrific. New York Times bestseller. And you can go to atorchkeptlit.com for all formats. Wait, say it again. Atorchkeptlit.com. You got it. I shall do that. James, thank you very much, Thank sir. you, sir.